Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I have promised you a couple of videos which are coming up. This one is a bit of a bonus video. So I'm actually just getting ready to go to work just now and I thought I would take it with me. It might be more of a sort of behind the scenes video today so it could be quite fun. I have no idea what to expect. I will try and get some vlogging done at some point during the day as well to sort of show you what I'm doing. But it's mostly going to be a very cool, very slow-mo look at some of what I do. This is just bonus, hope you enjoy it. I didn't get much vlogging done today. I thought we'd catch you up just now. I've literally just got back. I feel like a burst ball. What a fantastic day I've had. I'm going to just quickly talk you through uh, some of the stuff I got up to today, but I've obviously shown you some of the, the B-roll from what I've, the, I've shot today, and I could not be more excited. What a fantastic shoot. It's now five past five, so I've just had a message from the client saying thank you there, which was lovely. Um, it was an absolute pleasure though. Quite a lot of coffees today. Thank you to everyone who gave me coffee. I have been buzzing all day today, full of beans, full of energy. It was just such a good positive campaign to be working on. What I did today was part of the Scotland Loves Local campaign, uh, which is trying to encourage people to, because of COVID and the pandemic and stuff, that's trying to encourage people to shop locally, which I cannot promote that enough. It's so important that we support our local businesses and independent businesses. If I could have my own way, I'd have an entire high street just full of independent shops. It'd be fantastic. But anyway, so today it was a mixture of this lens here. All of the shooting I did today was on this lens. Um, come on, focus. No, does he want to? Okay. All of the, the the shots today were shot on this lens today, which is a 24-70 f4 uh, L series lens. It's stunning, absolutely stunning for depth of field and everything. I know everyone probably prefers a 2.8 version, but I cannot go wrong with this. It's a beautiful lens. I've been wanting this lens for a long time though, and I've been using, making full use of it. So I shot mostly with that. When I had the camera set to shoot at 24 frames per second, I was shooting at roughly about 60 of a second on this at f4. So the shots were just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And then I just kind of adjusted my SO to, to sort of uh, depend on where we were and what kind of light I was shooting in. But yeah, and then obviously when I was shooting slow-mo, the Canon M50, which I'm shooting on just now has a, a sort of preset that you can sort of change it to enable high frame rate and it changes it to 120 frames per second. So then I changed my shutter speed to roughly about 250th of a second. Everything was done with manual exposure and the shooting video in manual exposure is something that I do anyway for my YouTube videos. Doing it in such a dynamic environment where the light was constantly changing was just fantastic. Gave you a real buzz when you were shooting but quite fast paced so you had to kind of keep up the light changing all the time. At one point I had Olivia who's um, Miss Galaxy UK, wow, uh, she was doing a piece to camera and I had to sort of to take her away from the harsh sunlight, put her behind a tree essentially and shade her so that she was facing away from the sun and then adjusted my exposure again. So you had to think on your feet a lot today and um, I thoroughly enjoyed it but the, the full range of places we went to, we went to a local cafe, we went to Mobility Warehouse which had loads of sort of really cool products to shoot there. Then we went to a local Italian Italian restaurant that was beautiful and ambient. It was very dark but very very ambient. They had fairy lights everywhere and it just I could imagine at night time that would be such a beautiful cozy place to go and dine. And then we went to a sewing shop which was down the other end of the high street and we went to a jeweler's but then the jeweler let us into the shop and he basically melted gold and silver for me and I got that on camera but that was just amazing to watch that. All of the different businesses had their own their own unique vibe. Each unique sort of personality sort of shone through every piece of the camera. Everything just fell into place today. It was just like a jigsaw puzzle. It just Everything just fell into place. So I could not be happier with how it all turned out. I'm hoping to have the, the drone footage for it shot on Sunday and then presenting the final video to the client on Monday. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out. Um, I thought I would give you a sort of very quick day in the life of me when I'm shooting commercial work. Um, I know this has been a very short video, but I felt like I just wanted to take you on the journey with me and just let you see it. So a lot of what I seem to be doing recently seems to be based around videography rather than photography but I think I'm a huge believer that if you enjoy your photography you can adapt some of those skills to videography as well so as you're looking at the world in a sort of similar way but obviously then you have to learn techniques and things like that and panning techniques and, and sort of detail shots and how to make 
whatever it is you're shooting look really amazing. I feel like doing the YouTube channel for me has sort of taught me how to how to handle the video aspect of my content a lot better than I was two or three years ago. It definitely has improved my skills, I would hope. Well, people are hiring me now to do stuff, so I can't be that bad. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, but two weekends ago, I was shooting an absolutely beautiful motorhome, as I told you about. Next week, I'm going to be shooting stills images for a local company. So yeah, everything's... So obviously, I started off life as a food photographer, and now it's come, I've had to adapt because of coronavirus. So now, I don't really know what to call myself now. I'm a commercial photographer, or a commercial videographer, or a commercial photo videographer. I don't know. Well, I don't... Don't know. Two for the price of one, basically, is what people are getting, which... And then obviously I don't do the drone footage, but I can add the drone footage in if they need it as well. I, this is starting to sound like an advertisement for myself or my CV, <laughs> but it's not, I promise. Yeah, so I'm going to go and back up all my footage from today and then prepare for the drone footage on Sunday, plan that out, check the weather, all that stuff. But I'm glad I got to take you guys with me on the journey today. I've really enjoyed it. It's um, been something a little bit different that, again... Anyway, I'm going to go and back up my stuff, have my dinner, eat some chocolate and chill out for the rest of the night. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I might be doing more of these sort of vloggy videos as well, but I actually vlog during the day, so look out for that as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, then give it a wee thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.